So there aren't many uh, real, real positives to global warming. And I think we'd all pass on global warming and not be able to grow a crepe myrtle in our climate. But the fact of the matter is things have warmed up enough for us that crepes have become semi-reliable in the landscape planting in uh, our North Jersey climate. This is uh, Lagostromia indica, and this is Tuscarora. And that's pretty showy. Uh, bloom for about two to three weeks. And then you have an advantage of what will become quite showy bark. Um, it exfoliates and, and gives you different patches and different colors on the bark. Plant will get up to probably 16, 18 feet, probably 10, 12 feet wide. Um, you are rolling the dice a bit with this plant because if we get a real severe winter, uh, it can die back. It's rare at this point, it will kill it, but it can die back. Um, but again, for a pop of color in the summer on a woody ornamental, this is a pretty, pretty positive plant. So this is Tuscarora crepe myrtle, um, well-drained soil, not really a deer issue. Uh, the biggest, biggest factor you have to deal with this, with this plant would be uh, cold hardiness. But it just seems to me that every year we seem to sell more and more crepe myrtles, which leads me to believe that they're doing fairly well in our environment. So. Tuscarora, um, don't know if I can zoom in enough, but that is Natchez, which is supposedly the white, uh, the hardiest, um, and it's a white, and there are several other different colors that, that you can get, but uh, probably at this point in time, it's worthy of a try.